Hey guys, before I forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ding that bell, okay? All right guys, how's it going? So, you saw me doing a quick opening of a package that I ordered. A little bit of background, which is pretty cool. Um, guys, this is basically my first sponsored video. Yes, that is true. I ordered this online, got it delivered, and working with the company who actually approached me and asked me to review this microphone. <coughs> so, uh, what we're gonna do here in a second is switch over to the unboxing. So we will show you how the package arrives. You saw how it arrived originally uh, in a nice bowl wrap type package and all that was inside was this box in here. I'm going to open this up, walk through step by step on all the pieces that are inside of it and show you what I think. Now, one thing I made clear with the company, which they were very clear with me and understood is I'm gonna give an honest opinion of what I think of the microphone. All right, so here we are on the unboxing side, and there's the box, right? All right, without further ado, what is in the box? All right, what do we have here? Company website. All right, so the C1 user guide comes with the mic. Boom, that you can wrap on your head with some extension. Looks like you got a splitter here. You've got a mic with a certain amount of distance of cable. Looks like an extension, and then something that you can use that looks like for your camera. Who cares about that stuff now, right? What do we have here? It's a nice little soft cloth kind of bag, uh, pulled tight. And let's see what we have here. Forgive uh, the yellow pad, I have to use that because of all the glare of the glass table, but we should be able to see everything just fine in here. All right. I'm bending a little bit that mic. This is a big guy. Nothing left in the bag. Let's start off with this guy. Looks like your lapel. Slightly tore the bag, so you got your one of your mic covers, larger one. A smaller mic cover. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get that better in there. Smaller mic cover. Larger mic cover. A lapel snap on. So you snap your mic into here. And of course you lock this in. This this is metal. This is yeah, it's metal. Had to do the old teeth check, but this guy is metal. This this is plastic, but the alligator clip is metal. So, we got those guys here. Came in the bag. Alright. And as they stated, looks like you got two mic connector into one, two, three, and four sections. Plug it into your phone, MacBook, whatever. Connect it to your recording device, camera, whatever. Take one, let's say as an example, this little mic. And then you can have another person wearing this guy connected. We did all this over here. Now basically, you now have two microphones connected. Your over the head and your standard lapel mic. So you can basically do an interview or something of that sort. So let's go ahead and pull that out. This guy, rubberized covering, very flexible. A little less weight on the end of this guy. <clears throat> doesn't seem as solid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still really solid, but it doesn't seem to be as heavy as the other guy on the mic itself. These connectors, metal. Uh, hopefully work pretty well. We'll test these out here in a little bit. You have this guy here and then you have This guy here with already the alligator clip connected lapel clip your soft small cover and then your quick Tie oh these are these are kind of nice. I'm sorry. Let me get this back in the camera here. These are kind of nice Yeah, 
All right, so it stays wrapped to the cable. And of course, I'm gonna screw this all up. Can't really see with the camera here, but there's a lot of, there's a pretty good distance here. I'd say it's probably three feet, four feet. Uh, it fits the wingspan of my arm, so probably four feet. Um, I will tell you that the cable itself is very flexible, very rubberized. The, the connection is very solid. It seems very solid. Um, nice brass set here. It's, I mean, it's very kind of heavy too. It's a little bit more than I've seen in other connections. Seems pretty good. The clip here, as we stated before, it's got some, it's got some force on it. It'll grab, it'll hold. It'll hold really well. Uh, the mic's already attached to this guy here. So back to what I was saying. So back to this guy. So it's, uh, oh, okay. So this has a kind of a rubber hose over metal. It's, I'm pretty sure it's meant for comfort. Has a connection, comes out to another one of those quick ties and a very stealthy, stout connection. You have the larger boom, that's what the, the larger mic cover. Let's see what this guy looks like. Okay, so you can see it's a different style of mic and it's this whole section right about up into here is very flexible. So you can set this almost anywhere you need it to where you can talk in, sorry, you can flex this anywhere you need it so that you can talk into the mic here. Very nice. Seems pretty good construction there. Uh, this guy doesn't seem to contour the mic itself, but it seems to just basically slide on over it like so. So obviously, you know, that's just to prevent some wind noise and breathing and muffled a little bit. What else do we have? Well, we have this guy. It's the extension. Uh, once again, just like the other splitter, not as thick, a little bit lighter, but stems pretty darn solid. You also have this connection. So the mics themselves have a larger, uh, more solid type connector, but these still feel very solid in themselves. This guy will get the actual measurement, but you saw it in the booklet on the length. And then we have one final item, and that is this guy. So as you can see, compared to these two, you see how this connection will go into your camera, and this will connect into the side here so that you can plug this into a camera because all you basically need is stereo. Obviously, these sections are set up for iPhones or other phones that have the, the controls built into them. So basically, that's it in the unboxing. Here we are on the review portion of it. Uh, I have actually the extension. All right, twist, twist, twist. So basically towards the camera, I have the adapter piece, which is for the adapter for the camera, for the audio only, uh, no controls, three sectors, uh, connected to the four sector extension cable, uh, which basically has a male and a female on one end. And then I actually have the microphone itself. So this is the test of this current microphone. Uh, as it stands just in this process with this connection, directly using all the Fifine product. And uh, I have double checked, I'm pretty sure that is the pronunciation of the company, Fifine. Uh, this guy for $20, um, $20 plus tax and shipping, um, came out to $28 and some change. And I'm actually, to be honest, I'm quite happy. I don't know what the audio sounds like, you're gonna hear it, technically before I will, because I've got to go back, pull this out, edit it, review, and see what the sound is like. Um, I'll cross compare it with the Acto, and then um, I will make a decision myself, obviously at a later point in time. But let me tell you what I think of the product now, and I think that as it stands with itself right now, you get a lot for $20. Um, 
you get what feels like a robust system. You get thicker cabling uh, within the system itself. It feels like it's made with a little bit better quality um, than some of the other mics that I've seen. Granted, I'm not an expert and I haven't seen thousands of mics, but uh, this seems really good to me. I like it. For $20, I, I, wouldn't, I would not say no to this. But then there's also, there's something more. And I hate to say it, it's, it's literally in that same avenue. So, I'm gonna do it. But wait, there's more. If you buy this now, you'll get another mic. I've already shown you it. It's really cool. It's basically, it reminds me of the ShamWow dude, right? I mean, check this out, hold on. I mean, right? Uh, I'm hoping this thing works. I can't, I've, I have actually not pre-tested this. This is the first time. And uh, with my glasses needing to see when I type, I can't even see what I'm looking at on the screen. I don't know what I look like. Um, I will tell you that the, the, I would probably, you know what, this, this, this did come with an extra clip. So I would assume that I would take this clip and put it somewhere in my neck so that, yeah, because if I got this hanging down just as it is, it's pulling against the microphone and against my neck. Um, this this device itself is, uh, I actually did look at the mic on this boom. It's a pretty good sized mic. It's, it looks like it's got some really good quality as well, just like the other. Um, I hope I sound really good in this. Uh, I mean, voice wise. <laughs> uh, but what I like about it is, is you can use this as a demonstration. If you're, you know, in some audience and you got it connected to a speaker system, maybe even you pull it out and got a little wireless uh, type device you can plug in. That's the cool thing about this right here is you can go wireless with this. You just need a little box to plug into and then a little box to plug to your camera. Let's say you're doing this and you're not using a camera, but you're doing some type of, uh, you know, who knows, maybe a lecture, as I've mentioned before, and, and other mics that I've had that uh, USB style mic. <clears throat> this is more of a lecture style mic. You have all the freedom in the world. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, you know, it's it's just, it's really kind of that awkward looking boom style. And I guess you can, you can bring it up a little bit underneath. It stays in position. If this is not pulling any tension on you, yeah, you can turn any way you want to. You can move around. And now the question is also that you're going to hear before me is, is this picking up any noise? Also, am I, am I, from my breathing, you know, trying not to hit the mic too much, the, the, the P's, the B's, the S's, the T's, am I flooding the mic? How does it sound? I wonder how it sounds. Um, Currently, I will say with the other mic and way that this guy is kind of set up, which is kind of cool, that for the most part, this microphone works really well. Um, I will come back with my final opinion uh, because I will be pulling these and comparing them to the Acto, and then I will give you my final review. And as truthfully as I can, and from the experience that I have, I will tell you what I really think of this guy, okay? So with the, <laughs> the joke of the ShamWow style head mic, um, I probably didn't totally give it full shake. Um, I do think that this device needs to come with some type of a, a clip so that it'll hold it in a better position. Uh, because if you pull on it too hard, it wants to pull up on it. Now, more importantly, these devices I will tell you, this, this head mic is perfect. It fits great. You almost don't even notice it's there except for the cable. So if you're able to pin this somewhere where this cable is not much of a factor, you're not going to have that much of an issue with this. Not at all. It's going to work just fine. Um, what I should have done is taken this mic and moved it to the side. To this guy now. So. Uh, probably want to pull this out of your field of view to some extent, but you don't want it straight into your mouth, but you want it pointed towards your mouth. 
but not necessarily right in it. And currently with this flexible band here, this is perfect. I think that I'm betting this sound audio is so much better uh, with this way. Uh, like I said, it's a great lecture. It's kind of smooth. It doesn't, I don't feel any excessive pressure on my head. The only thing I don't like again with this, um, I like how it works, but what I don't like is where the, the cable, if you were to pull this towards your front. Now, I'm not wearing this right. And when I say I don't like this, I actually do like this setup. Uh, I probably won't do it for videos, but if you're doing it something for some background, maybe some uh, adding of some voiceover or something like that, you might use this. This actually sounds pretty good and it works pretty good. I have this cable running towards the front. I would probably recommend to the company that add another alligator clip so you could snap it to the back of your, your neck or your shirt so that you can turn but then all the weight of the cable pulling it forward, I can feel it. And if I, right now I'm okay, but if I get it pulled too hard, it's gonna stick and pull this. It feels real awkward. Uh, but if there's enough slack, this thing is light as a feather. You, you, you can wear this all day, it'll be perfectly fine. I actually kinda like it. Uh, it just reminds me of the ShamWow dude. So I went back and looked at my Acto mic uh, that I purchased in Korea for about five or six bucks. Uh, I looked at the review that I did on it. I, I will say that there's actually something that I do like uh, even more about this whole setup. Like I said, I've got the extension, I've got the length, the length's in the manual. Uh, you can look it up online, it'll give you all the lengths that you need. Uh, in centimeters or inches, does the conversions for you. I will tell you that it looks like a total of about nine feet of cable with everything attached. I think I'm almost nine and a half feet long. But the good thing I like is, is that there's that L connector adapter that goes from my camera into my cable and it's perfect. The Acto I didn't like is because the mic section like this is straight. So it'll stick out and then it bends uh, around the cable and this section that sticks out, this isn't it, but that's an example. It sticks out into the screen that I have where I'm watching to make sure that I can, you know, that I'm in frame and everything's going good. The problem with this, it sticks out, kind of distracts you and gets in your way. This one here, the adapter, I barely even notice it. It actually comes out and drops straight down. It's not even anywhere near the screen. Can't even tell. So comparing the sound quality, uh, I'm going to let you decide again on the sound quality if you go back and look at the Acto for the five dollars. Uh, this guy, I did give it a fair shake right away because I thought I was trying to land aircraft at the uh, local airport. Uh, I had it too close into my mouth and it was and all kinds of noise. So once you pull that thing away, because it has a kind of a directional mic, you just need to point it towards the noise and, and that's coming out of your mouth, your pie hole you might say. And if you got it pointed, but not directly in the way of the breaths and the sound, it's gonna sound a whole lot better. And I'm willing to bet that when I edit this and put this in, that sound when I move that boom away, sounded much better. Currently with this, the, uh, the C1, the, the Fifine, it's wonderful for $20 plus tax and shipping, which I had to pay for. This actually is a pretty good product. I would pay $20 for this, I would. Um, the sound quality, uh, I can tell is a bit better than the Acto. Uh, I, I don't have any measuring devices and I don't have any scientific data to tell you that it is better. It's just, I'm telling you, as I said before, go check it out, uh, the Acto mic that I did. Go check some other people who may have the Acto mic or whatever. But this guy right here, uh, it, it sounds good. It's got some good crisp qualities to it. It's, it's got a little bit of bass in it. It really does sound pretty good. Um, my voice sounds much better with this microphone than I think than the Acto microphone. So I give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna keep this. I'm actually gonna use this. Uh, I said I would use the Acto and I'm actually, my wife is gonna kill me for this. You know, why am I wasting money? But hey, my first, my first sponsored product review, I gotta do it. And I'm gonna be honest, again, still, I like it. It works. It's got 10 foot of length of cable. It's perfect for this office. And with that, please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell. And tell me what you think. I like it when people leave comments. I don't get a whole lot of them, but when I do get a few, I try to respond as quickly as possible. And I really do appreciate that. Go.